Good morning, folks. We're watching plasma fall down into an incoming active region here. Today's rundown includes space weather that is delaying the earthquake uptick, and once again, it is belied by the seemingly calm state of our star. Coming to the last day and seeing the calm up there except for some flashes near the top right, it's just minor C-class solar flares as the largest sunspot departs, having lost to the Earth-facing quiet effect. But not all is calm, and it starts here at the solar wind. Although physical parameters are normal, the phi angle in blue is settled in at 180, which triggered more geomagnetic activity last night. Remember this delays earthquake upticks, and the K-index even shows a level 2 magnetic storm. So we'll likely wait until at least tonight for that uptick, and unfortunately, it'd have been nice to get it out of the way before the backside of the current coronal hole comes in. Normally, such an extended opening is more geo-effective at the onset. However, the onset of this coronal hole is pathetic. It is the trailing side coming in now that contains the powerful IMF of the hole in red, top left, and faces Earth beginning about 12 hours from the time of this analysis. We did have two volcanoes go off, Philippines and Americas lighting up all over. Top quakes were on the Indonesia line and one over an aftershock territory of South America. Those who peeked in on the analysis last night already know that no proper OLR analysis could be done due to enormous portions of the globe missing their data. It was the Caribbean and the Indonesia line that we were wanting to see more than anything else. C'est la vie. Not only does our top article today include an exiled planet from its parent star, but there is the outright inclusion of extra topical research indicating that our own solar system did this same thing long ago. There is a tremendous article on future Euro temps that complements predictions we've made here, so definitely recommend a read on that one. And also a grand cycle timeline is more or less confirmed, meaning we're either on deck for grand solar minimum or even a bit overdue. We've got news from one of NASA's Facebook groups that the Central Pacific shattered another major tropical record this year. We'll come back to that in a moment. I would like to thank Nettles Air Conditioning for sponsoring Observing the Frontier 2016 in Phoenix, January 30th and 31st. Keith is an avid observer and supports the Mobile Observatory Project as well. Thank you again. And folks, in addition to coming out to Observing the Frontier in Phoenix, our book has the same name, and the videos from Pittsburgh are posted. There are only 25 hardcover copies available left for pre-order. Anything after that cannot be guaranteed to be delivered before the holidays. And also, folks, I said we'd come back to the major tropical records this year. We go over those and their solar causation in Magnetic Earth, probably the most informative $2 you can spend this holiday. And if you can happen to spare six, how close we came, Electroquake and Magnetic Earth go together like one large talk that breaks down the situation at Earth. Also, the Exiled Planet article from today relates to our other talk, Planet Crossed. Nexus to find everything is suspiciousobservers.org. We've got pressure and radar in our top viewer locations, current global conditions, the oddest temperature situation I've ever seen and what caused it, and shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.